Well, I've been wanting to rant about the wing silence for quite a while. And if you see my last video about leaving YouTube, um, I'm not really leaving YouTube. I'm still animating. I just don't want to upload videos every day. So, um, I just realized I got like five or six more subscribers. So, yeah. If you're new to my channel, um, just so you know, I'm not going to upload videos as often. I will still upload videos. But... It's just not going to be as often. So anyways, um, I'm going to rant about the wind silence. There will be spoilers. So don't get angry at me or attack me because I warned you and that's all your fault. Yeah. Okay, so um, I really liked this book a lot actually. Um, I really liked it. Um, it, w it was interesting how they, how they actually added the development in the wing. And the first, like ever since the... Like, when the beginning just started, it was interesting all the way through. Like, I actually finished it in one day, and I usually finish ebooks in, like, maybe three or four days, because I'm not as interested in them, but this one actually kept me interested. Um, so, the, I was really emotional in a lot of ways, in a lot of parts of this book, too. And it also made me dislike a lot of characters. So, if you have not read Devil's Silence yet, and you're gonna get angry at me for these characters, not liking these characters, I would suggest you just walk away. Uh, go buy the book and read, and then you understand my point of view. So, anyways, um, so let's start off at the beginning. Swirltail dies. That actually almost made me cry. It was very emotional. Oh my gosh, the kittens were just like climbing over the mother's body. Like, Swirltail was sleeping. She won't wake up. It was just so sad. The kittens didn't realize that their mother was dead. And Bragnifer, she's being all emotional. I, thought, I just thought that the death was really sad. Um, I actually almost cried. Um, so after that, everybody was burying the, um, the cats who died in the battle, and oh my gosh, Dutch felt sucked in this book. He was a total jerk. He was just telling Birch, well, like, you don't deserve to grieve over Ferncloud or something. I don't remember what he said, but he was so abusive. I'm not even going to excuse grief. Birch proves his loyalty by choosing ThunderClan over the Dark Forest. He was just a stupid little guy who just wanted to learn more new, more moves. I mean, like, nobody's perfect. So, how can you... Ex your son didn't even betray you. So, why are you being an, an asshole and just, like, completely neglecting him? That's just... It's like another clone of Millie. I did not like Dustpout for that at all. It actually made me strongly dislike him because of this book. I really did not like Dustpout. He was mean. He wouldn't let Birchwell bury his mother. He wouldn't let Birchwell grieve over Fern Cloud. It was just so messed up. And I really did not like him in that book at all. I mean, he didn't even con he just avoided him. And Birchwell just wanted him to help. There's nothing wrong with helping. And he was acting like a total dick. Whatever. I did not like Dust in that scene. He sucked. So they got to the gathering. I think Paul actually had a lot of development. She um, was scared that everyone was going to punish the cats who trained in the dark forest. But she accepted um, what's going to happen, even though she was really scared. Um, and let's see. Everybody sucked in this book, actually. I'm not even going to count just Dust Pelt. But Dust Pelt did like one of the most unforgivable kind of things that a lot of people don't like. Because he neglected his own son. And I did not appreciate that at all. I'm not even going to excuse grief. Because like, how would Fern Cloud feel if her own husband neglected his son, who already proved his loyalty by fighting for ThunderClan? Yeah, think about that. So, um, let's see, what else happened? Oh, yeah, um, all these cacks are like, the leaders were just thinking about, like, a way to punish the cacks who trained in the Dark Forest. The only cat I can really think of to punish is Breeze Pelt, because he was a jerk. Um, I thought he was, like, a misunderstood guy, and I actually liked him, but then when they showed that he felt no guilt or whatever, I'm like, dude, be messed up. You're not supposed to be bad. I didn't want him to be bad. I thought he was a really good, misunderstood villain. I thought he just, like, wanted his dad's attention, and he became like this because, I mean, I guess they were always, parents were always a part of the reason why he became the way he did, but, um, still, he became a bad guy. He's, like, it's been proven. Like, like, um, like, one of the guys, I don't remember, I think it was Blackstar, or, no, Ivy Pool. She was mentioning why she joined the Dark Forest, saying they didn't join the Dark Forest to betray their clanmates. 
but they joined because they wanted the um, attention and um, they wanted to um, become a great warrior for the clan. And Breach Bow just still smiling, letting everybody believe that's the reason why he joined the Dark Forest was, like, in an evil way, and it was just messed up. I did not like Breach Bow at all in this book. He's a bad guy. I wanted him to be like some kind of misunderstood guy. I mean, he'll always go to the Dark Forest for what he did, but still, I just thought he was a misunderstood guy, and I really did not like him at all anymore in this book. <laughs> okay, so, Mopa and Cherry Paw. I hated them in this book, too. Dovewing? tried to make the cats who trained in the dark forest feel like not feel left out because everybody was neglecting them because he trained there even though they proved their loyalty and when Dovewing tried to help them feel better Mopa and Chiripa led them into a fox that that a fox that was um in pain and they could have been killed even Lion Lake was really angry at them um and it was just messed up they're like we didn't think it would attack on like you Idiots! Of course they would attack the fox. It was threatening the territory. I don't even care if they were just, like, um, just causing trouble for them. They could have died because they didn't like them. And then they were playing some kind of game saying, um, I don't remember what the, what the apprentices played, but, um, I think it was some kind of game when they were, like, killing, pretending they were killing, um, Oh, okay. So, the, like, the cats who trained in the Dark Forest swore an oath to, um, be loyal to the clan for the rest of their lives. And Mopai and Cherry Paw are being, pretending they were the warriors who trained there. And somebody else is like, oh, I'm gonna kill you even though you swore an oath. And they're just really messed up. They didn't respect them at all. They didn't trust them. They just led them into a trap that could have, that could have gotten them killed. That's why I don't like Mopai and Cherry Paw anymore. They could have... People, the cats could have died because of what they did to Dubwing. They let them into a trap, and I really like Dubwing in this book. She tried to make anyone like not feel bad when they trained in the dark forest. She didn't want them to feel left out. She tried to put the the she tried to put the clan back together again while they were neglecting the other cats who trained in the dark forest. And um, let's see. She just pretty much defended them. I really liked her in this book. Um, I believe this book actually made a lot of people respect Dubwing a little more. I have always liked Dubwing, though. Um, I will make a Dubwing rat up later, like an updated one, because I like her now. But that's not important. Um, so yeah, I really did not like a lot of cats in this book, but it was a really good book. It was like made really well. I liked how it was in between. Before Bramble Star Storm and after Firestar died. Um, but yeah, if you don't like Dubwing, um, read this book because she actually has a lot of development in this book. And, um, you will respect her a little more because she tries to make the others not feel left out. And she tries to move on from Tigerheart. I liked that. I liked the relationship between them, but I liked how she actually tried to move on from Tigerheart. I will give her props for that. Go Dubwing. But sadly, she goes back to him in Bramble Star Storm. But anyways, um, overall, um, out of Lee Pool's Wish and Tiger Claw's Fury, I would have to say Dubwing Silence is probably the best ebook that's been out there in a while. Tiger Claw's Fury is pretty good too, but I, I really enjoyed Dubwing Silence most of all. I actually finished that book in maybe, I would say about maybe four hours. It was a really good book. I liked it a lot. So if you don't like Dubwing, pick this book up if you have a Kindle, or if you don't like Dubwing, just give it, give it a try. Just read that book.